Hey guys, this is WRockRamsK here, back with another video, and this is an update video. Got DVDs, an autograph from the NXT show I want to make sure to check out that Day in the Life video, and one uh, free set figure. So start off with the figure. Um, this one, I've seen a lot of people unbox these things going into WrestleMania season to bring to, uh, to WrestleCon. Not so much WrestleMania access, but WrestleCon. This is my first one, this is Classic Superstars. Um... To me, none of them really seemed like that impressive, but then I saw this set and I'm like, you know, if I ever meet Undertaker and Kane, that'd be an amazing thing to get signed, so. A little bit of a close-up for you. It's Undertaker. Kane. Kane has a really kind of like weird face skin. And then Paul Bearer, of course, so. This one, I looked it up. It's a little bit harder to find. I paid uh, 40 for it. It ends up going around $50 on Amazon and eBay, so not that bad of a steal. They also had that Jake the Snake one, but they wanted 74 and I thought that was overpriced, but yeah. So that's the back. So that's the main, the only figure I got for this pickup. Next, I'll show you the autograph we got from the NXT show. This was honestly the only thing I picked up. Um, my boyfriend got Sensei Nakamura autograph. They had way overpriced t-shirts, and they didn't even have an I Was There shirt, which is what I always go to, but anyways, it was 10 bucks. Bobby Roode autograph, which is awesome. Um, I put my ticket in there on the bottom, so it looks pretty nice. I'm going to hang this up in the room soon. That's the only thing I got from NXT. A little sad, usually I walk away with like three or four things at events, but this time I didn't. And the DVDs, I got three. Uh, I went to the FYE that was closing, and sure enough, they did pull out a couple more things, so I got it. This was like two bucks. Survivor Series 2015. I have most of them, 50 on DVD, I was missing like three pay-per-views, this just happened to be one of them. There's the back. This is the thing I was really annoyed at because um, I got Seamus winning the Money in the Bank briefcase plaque and they never made a plaque from cashing in. And I wanted that, but for some reason they never made it, so it was a little sad. Then we got Royal Rumble Anthology number two. I have number one, was really looking to get two because number three, most of them, I'm just going to get on DVD anyways. But this one, um, it was a little overpriced, but they had 40% off, and if you had the membership, it was an extra 10 so 50% off, I think I paid like $16 for it. It covers, uh, the Royal Rumble from 1993 all the way to 1997, so, I think that is maybe 6 through 10, if I'm correct, I don't know, I suck at, I suck at Roman, uh, Roman numerals, so there it is for you, if you know them. And the last one, this is pretty much to just finish my WCW stuff that I got. Uh, Starcade, the Essential Collection, four ninety nine. It came up to like three bucks, so three or two, something like that after tax. There's a side in the back. Everyone pretty much has this DVD by now, but just picked it up. It was cheap. Watched a couple matches on here to see what it was all about. So yeah, that is my update for everything I've gotten in the last two weeks. So make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because always more to come.